when she very first started before she was even big and was fighting i want i would this makes sense to me with her um and there's nothing wrong with it in, at all but also again it's just when when you're in brazil and you, you traveled that far and you had those camps you couldn't wait and it didn't go your way and there's all this pressure and people go man what's next you're like i'm not not this i don't want to do this i just want to get away from this so i don't know if necessarily she's gonna retire next but if she does it would make sense good for her one more thing about that so she posted this after the fight like a day later she said that that's the last time she lets dana white pick her walkout oh, song God. so apparently <laughs> apparently they, she said that or actually her manager said that dana picked the last two songs because for whatever reason there were technical difficulties which doesn't make sense right well here's like so so when I was fighting in Brazil, and, and even before that, but really when I was in um, when I was in Brazil, um, I wanted to come out to this Chris Brown song. And the night before the fight, I get a call from Dana, and they go, "You know, you can't, you can't, you're not walking out of the song. You gotta come up with something else." Like, That's what I want to walk out to. He's like, "Not happening." So he goes through all the walkout songs. He controls a lot of that. Yeah, that's so lame, man. That's what gets you hyped up, right? That's what gets you. But it could mean some. But also, it doesn't have to get the fans hyped up. It can mean something personally to you. No, that's what I'm saying. It gets you hyped up. Yeah, but again, it's not about Dan. It's not about what he wants. That's what's fucked up. So what's Rose say here? Well, she just said that. That's the last time I did like picking a walkout song. Thank Brazil. Don't forget this experience. And her manager or her agent had to clarify that she said it because. She let him pick the song because there were technical difficulties with other songs before, so she didn't want to deal with the hassle. So she's like, oh, you just pick it. What did he pick? Uh, Thunderstruck, ACDC. It's a good song. Yeah, pure. But I mean, yeah, it's 50 years old. It doesn't match Rose's personality. We have to go back to Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. They talk about UFC 237, where we saw one of the nastiest knockouts that I've seen for a long time, Nick. As Jessica Andrade became the UFC strawweight champion by knocking out Rose Namajunas. Yeah, and Rose was dominating, and then all of a sudden, it's got caught. Doink! Yeah. Just yeah, that was that was a. I mean, Rose looked as good as she's ever looked, and then all of a sudden, Andrade just picked her up, and it was over. You know, in the first round. You know, I was calling the fight, and I was like, wow, I've never seen Nama Yunus look better. I mean, the jab was busting her up. Yeah. It seemed as though Jessica was having a, having problems trying to close the distance and find her range. But you knew that Andrade has an ability to push a pace that not many people could keep. And if she got a chance, she had one-punch knockout power, which you don't see much at 115. And also a great ground game and a great ability to wrestle and control the pace. So... Uh, and you saw that as the fight went on. First round looked great for Rose, but in round two, Andrade was really starting to come on even before she landed that big takedown. She landed a lot of nice leg kicks, which in turn slowed Rose down enough to where she was able to get in on that shot and uh, and, and do the uh, power driver, Bacia Stress or whatever her name is, Bacia Stress or some stuff like that, the power driver. Um, you know... There's always there and also was, just her forward pressure. Yeah, there was a point where they showed Andrade in the corner, and it's always like when you're watching a fight and someone's all bloody, it always uh, magnifies how actual how much actual damage they've taken. Like you looked at her and you thought, shit, she's like about to her head's about to fall off, right? And all of a sudden they came and went to the corner, and when they wiped all the blood off and splashed some water on her, you realized all of a sudden she looked like a thousand times better. Like okay, it's a, <laughs> it's a small cut. Like she's not out. Like, she's yeah. still in this fight. She just has to have... It's just a lot of blood coming from one place. And I remember thinking that and thinking, huh, she seemed like she was so fucked up already, but it's not that bad. And then... It was a cut over her... It was a cut over her left eye. Yeah. Where the blood was coming from. And then after... But you still thought... It was still one of those things where Rose is just so long and she seemed to be, you know, controlling the distance and moving around so much, but... She was... She was... She, was, she looked way faster. Yeah, but she it's just... looks way faster. It's so much pressure, it seems like. When there's... When you got the person with the one punch knockout power who just needs to get close to you to either punch you or grab a hold of you, it's just so much pressure to have to be perfect to constantly circling and jabbing and jabbing and coming in and out. And it just feels like it's always stressful to watch when you're, um, well, in this case, I didn't have, I wasn't rooting for anyone, but in, when you're rooting for a guy who's 
fighting the guy with one punch power it's like so stressful because you're just like just fuck, keep going don't get in don't get out and when you're when you're the guy with the one punch power or the girl with the one punch power you just you've always got a chance you know rose was fighting such a tremendous fight um when jessica went in to single legger in the first round rose grabbed the kimura right as yeah. she got picked up and slammed down rose takes the kimura rolls it into an arm bar attempt and it looked pretty close yeah if, the but, arm, if her arm was longer she would have got her it was just her arm was too short yes yes and she's strong and she did the correct thing right she started yeah. trying to slide her elbow above uh, rose's hips which is what allowed her to uh not get the uh the bend in the wrong direction of the elbow uh but then on the second attempt she went to that same takedown she got to a single leg if she would have tried to kimura rose she would have when rose was trying to kimura her if she would have lifted her and slammed her down it would have given rose the uh momentum to either elevate her with her legs and then attack the kimura or end up in the top position so what jessica did was very smart she rolled her head to the outside so from putting her right ear on Rose's belly, she rolled her head to the opposite side, put her left ear up against Rose's hip. Now you've changed the angle of the throw, right? So the right ear against the belly, if she lifts and slams her backwards, Rose falls on her back. And by falling on her back with the arm, she would just elevate, elevate, elevate till Jessica would roll to her back or get submitted with a Kimura. But then when she moved her head outside and she put it on the hip, now rose is going away from jessica's body now jessica as she lifts her is not going to fall on top of rose to where rose can roll her she's going to throw her away from her same exact takedown i do on all those guys when i flip them but she held on to the submission which kept her in place that's why when you see me do that to gustafson and josh barnett and those guys their arms are kind of doing like this like they're swimming because they, they don't know where their body's going. So it makes them roll across their back and do a front flip. If Rose were to let go, she would have did that front flip because Jessica took her elbow really deep. Her right elbow went deep between the legs of Rose and lifted her up and just spiked her. And if she would have let go of that wrist, she would have been able to fall on the back of her, her shoulders and did like a forward roll. Momentum yeah. would have took her all the way through, but because she held on to the submission, she landed right on top of her head, knocked herself out. Now in that position, or got knocked out. In that position, is she thinking like I'm slamming you on your head, or is she just thinking I'm going to slam you, and she's not sure if you're going to land on your head, or you're like, you know, like are you just trying to slam the person and see what happens, or are you is she trying to slam them on their head? I think she's just going to the finish. Like the finish will, the finish is like a chain of events, right? You either lift, you either run across to a double leg. She couldn't run a double leg because Rose had her arm the Kimura arm so she had to go to that specific finish she couldn't run the pipe which is sitting Rose to her butt because then again her body would fall on top of Rose and Rose would elevate her so her only avenue to that finish was to go through the lift um and Rose ended up falling and she ended up putting her on her head but that was just really high level skill by Jessica and a great adjustment to roll the head outside uh into a high crotch position as opposed to staying uh, in the single leg and it, it was truly truly uh, amazing to see a young lady who has worked so hard finally accomplish that goal because remember Jessica used to fight 135 yeah. she was severely undersized she got herself down to her more natural weight and now she's the most aggressive physical fighter in that division what um so it was like both of them looked great in that fight so what were you surprised or or as a champion, what are you thinking when Rose is like, oh, I'm, this is kind of a big relief? Was it her concussion talking? <clears throat> was it something a lot of people go through? Or what? Or you? I, spo you I spoke to her. Yeah. I spoke to her on the plane. We flew home together. We flew home together. And she was very open about just how stressful this last year has been on her. Like, it's been a hard year for Rose Namajunas. You know, from the, the incident down in Brooklyn to uh, some injury she may have had to just life. I mean, it's been a hard year. And as a fighter, not wanting to deal with a lot of the ex extra that comes with a champion that's on the shelf, they start trying to introduce interim titles. They start trying to do all these other things. And uh, she had a hard year in that sense, man. So um, when the belt was gone, it was like, 
Now I can go get back to me a little bit. And I said right away, I didn't understand her thought process. Yeah, on the broadcast, you were like, you were baffled. I was baffled because for my whole entire life, I've chased those big goals, right? As I accomplish them, the last thing I want is to see them go in a different direction. But now, after talking to Rose and Pat for an hour before we took off, I'm like, I get it. I get it for you, right? I don't think I could ever feel that way. But I get it for Rose. You know, Rose has dealt with a lot in her life and also over the course of the last year. So I get it. I get why she would say, you know, I love this thing and I love this life that I've gained. But if it's gone, it's gone. I'm not going to bug out on it. But I think we got to give her some time. We got to give her some time to see uh, the value that she puts in not only fighting for the belt, but fighting all together. She was talking about retirement and all that stuff. And yeah. She's so good at it, right? She's so yeah. good at fighting. Amazing. And she keeps getting, keeps getting better. if she walked away. It keeps getting better. I was, yeah, I couldn't figure out, does she mean like she's a relief she won't have to fight? Or is it just, oh, I want to fight. I just don't want, I don't care about, I've been the champion. I don't care about being the champion. I just want to fight and not have to deal with all the extracurricular stuff. I just think there's a lot that comes with being a champion. It takes a certain mentality to really want to hold on to that. And right now, Rose is trying to, Rose is trying to find her place because she, she's happy, man. Like I was talking to her and Pat, and I'm like, "What do you guys do?" And they're like, "We just kind of hang out, man, just together." They got some birds. They got a garden. They love their garden, yeah. and that's what they were looking forward to. I, they were like, "We don't watch much TV." I was like, well, "What do you guys do?" <laughs> you know, like, "What do you do all day?" Rose cooks. She gave me some beef jerky she made. It was fucking phenomenal. I'm serious. We're on the plane eating fucking Rose Dama Yunus beef jerky. It was fucking <laughs> crazy. It was good. Uh, she makes beef jerky. They yeah. sit in the uh, in the garden. They say they just kick back. They're just like, they go, they just kick back. And I'm still, I told Pat, I said it before I'm done, but I'm going to find out what you guys do with your days. I go yeah. because I wake up in the morning. I play video games and watch TV, drink my coffee, go to practice, come home teach wrestling from three to seven then i come home and i eat dinner with my family and then before i go to bed i watch more tv i go but you guys don't he goes nope because we get up in the morning we turn on some music and we just kind of hang out i was like wow yeah he said we talk a lot i think they I talk a lot yeah i said shit you guys are in a much better relationship than a lot of people because most people <laughs> don't talk to their significant other he goes yeah. we just sit and we talk wow i was like wow yeah, good, good to them. hear so i think she'll be okay i just think that rose needs to find uh what she wants to do in 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 this whole fight game you know but yeah. they're happy they're healthy and if they're you know successful man that's like that was like the the overwhelming theme of the conversation which was good if you have not already hit that subscribe button with its notification bell and leave a comment in the comment box below of what you thought of the video and Tune in for more on MMA News Outlet.